somebody on Brandon. Bro, today I'm doing a video from Top Trending. This video right here is titled, The Man Who Hasn't Bathed in 65 Years. That is disgusting. Y'all requested it? Don't trip. You know, I got y'all. My guy, why you did, Why you haven't bathed in 65? How are you still alive? I feel like if you don't shower and if you don't bathe, I feel like all the germs and bacteria and everything will grow so much that it'll start to affect your health. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I think personally. But clearly, that's not the case. Hmm. My dude hasn't bathed in 65 years. That means he's still alive. That makes no sense. I'm ready to hop on into it, though, man. I already know y'all gonna be like, Brandon, how you get your hair like that? I have more and more people asking me about my hair. Bro, all of our hair is different, okay? I don't do nothing special to my hair. I wet it. I shake it. That's it. <laughs> Literally, that's it. Anyway, I'm ready to hop into this video. Let's go. How do you feel when you go a day or two without bathing or showering? Disgusting. Chances are, you don't feel very good. Exactly. You're itchy, tired, sweaty, and overall aren't yourself until you jump into the tub and scrub yourself clean. Exactly. We can't imagine going even a week without a bath. Exactly. We've our entire life. But an Iranian man has done just that. Amu Haji is 85 years old and hasn't taken a bath or shower in over 65 years. Why? Simply looking at him, you can see he couldn't care less about cleanliness. His skin is absolutely caked in dirt and mud, looking more like scales in several places. Amazingly, he doesn't eschew bathing out of duty or punishment, but rather because he wants to. To him, cleanliness is next to sickliness. And if he should put soap and shampoo to skin, he would fall ill. What? So he avoids bathing at all costs. Once, a group of men offered him to down. bathe him for free, and he responded by running away. When the Tehran Times interviewed Haji, he admitted that as a youngster, he suffered emotional setbacks, which prompted him to live life the way he does. He never elaborated on what these setbacks were, but we're guessing it had something to do with water. It definitely did. It could have been anything though. Haji's lifestyle isn't limited to a lack of bathing. His life is both primitive and minimalist, not to mention oh. disgusting in virtually every way. He's essentially homeless, wandering his village of Dejgar and sleeping in a shallow grave. No, seriously, one of his main homes is a hole in the ground that he curls up in to sleep. It provides partial protection from the elements, but he also believes it helps keep him in touch with the earth around him. That, that said, that's true he does though. have a house. Kind of. A while back, some kind souls built him a small open door brick shack because they felt bad for him. That's, Unlike that's nice. offers of a bath, Haji accepted the shack, though he still spends much of his time outside and sleeping under the stars. His dirt-centric approach to life extends to his diet as well. He has no use or desire for fresh food, instead choosing to eat rotten meat. His favourite is porcupine, unless it's grilled fresh with a side of crisp vegetables. Also, while he does drink plenty of water, up to 5 litres per day, I drink a he gallon a day, drinks man. it dirty, straight out of a rusty old oil can. How is he still alive? You may not be surprised to hear, Haji also smokes. But rather than a single cigarette at a alive? time, like most people, Haji tends to smoke up to five simultaneously. Bro, he wants to die. I'm character. sorry. Of course, Let me that's when he that. settles on six. Other times, he prefers a pipe, but not one filled with tobacco. No, when it's pipe time, this man fills it with grade A animal feces, lights it up, and gets to smoking. We can only imagine how long it took him to get used to that without gagging or outright retching. Though you could ask the same question for virtually every part of he his life. He smokes animal his shit? His habits don't end there either. One of his few material possessions is an old war helmet, which he wears to protect his head from the winter chill. We're not sure what he does for the rest of his body. Perhaps the decades of caked on dirt and mud keep him warm. As far as Haji's hair goes, he actually does cut it. He may not care about a clean body, but he draws the line at unkempt hair. However, he doesn't cut it like any of us do. Instead of razors and scissors, he simply puts his hair to an open fire and lets it burn away whatever he doesn't want anymore. You can never accuse Amu Haji of being a wimp. It's hard to imagine living a life like Haji's, both due to his dirtiness and his primitive simplicity. Then again, he seems content with the way he lives. He has no bills to pay, no possessions to obsess over, and it seems being one with Does nature family? keeps him from feeling lonely. Perhaps there's something to be said for cutting down the way he has. Who's to say any of us wouldn't be happy family, yeah. trading a life of materialism and endless worry for one of peace, quiet, and tranquility? 
Maybe. That all said, you can be peaceful, tranquil, and non-materialistic while still allowing baths and barbers into your exactly. life. Exactly. Oh, and a 100% lack of rotten meat and smoked animal dung. My dude that smokes sounds animal like the shit. best of both worlds to us. How about you? Me too. All right, great video. Thank y'all so much for requesting it. This guy, bro, listen, you know what? Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge on how you live your life? Live your life however the fuck you want to live your life. Because I'm sure a lot of y'all would judge me based on how I live my life. You know what I'm saying? I get high all the time. I stays high, nigga. I'm not high right now. But for the most part, I get high about six days a week, bro. Probably about twice a day. Six days a week. So, you know what I'm saying? Who am I to judge how he lives his life? I'm not going to judge the homie on how he lives his life. The only thing I am going to say, though, He's doing a lot of unhealthy practices. If you don't want to shower, whatever, that's your prerogative. You know what I'm saying? But you eating rotten meat? Why are you eating rotten meat? You know that's horrible for you. Why are you smoking hella cigarettes? That's horrible for your body. Why are you smoking animal shit? That don't make no sense. See, at first, I was just like, you know what? Maybe this dude just wants a simplistic lifestyle, a minimalist lifestyle, whatever. Nothing's wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But then when he started talking about other habits this dude has, it's like, nah, clearly something's off. Animals don't even eat rotten meat. Nobody eats rotten meat. Why are you eating rotten meat? Why do you want to die? Bro, I am shook. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.